The second minister for finance says a hike in GST is necessary to help finance recurrent health care spending. And that's as, as Singapore's population gets older, with about a quarter aged 65 and above by 2030. In an interview with CNA 938, Ms Indrani Rajat says help will be provided especially for lower income families. Now, such support will buffer the impact of the GST hike, uh, which is set to kick in between 20, uh, 2022 and 2025. When you're looking at recurrent expenditure, you need a recurrent source of revenue. And GST actually is one way to be able to fund this. So with the two percentage point increase in GST that we announced, um, it actually wouldn't cover all of our estimated uh, healthcare needs because we think that the increase in expenditure will be something like 0.8% of GDP and uh, the increase in GST will only cover about 0.7%. So even with increase in GST, uh, we will just about cover almost what we need for healthcare. Ms Indrani added that businesses will get help to digitalise through new initiatives like the Emerging Technology Programme. It will provide co-funding for mature firms to adopt new technologies like 5G and artificial intelligence. But companies also have to do their part. We want to make sure that the high-growth enterprises, including the startups, can continue to have access to financial capital. And we want to make sure that the mature enterprises of all sizes can invest in the new and emerging technologies. So one key strategy is help the businesses to be able to go digital. But the other thing, and this is where I really would like to call on companies, is help your employees to make that change, help them to acquire the digital skill 